one thing that comes into mind are robots. Computers, robots, moving by themselves. Scary supercomputers in movies like 2001 Space Odyssey or that kind of thing. Robots and people losing their jobs. The replacement of workers. Hard to say if a computer can do that because it's all about formulas, it's all about programming. And emotions is not something that you can formulate and you can practice. It seems to be developing so quickly that, yeah, I think we could make it to something that could be considered conscious. The human consciousness, I think, can be replicated in uh, computers because uh, the human mind works in very specific patterns. And uh, in as much as people might argue that emotions are inconsistent, if that were the case, there wouldn't be books about politics or psychology. No. Yes, I guess. I don't trust humans to make ethical decisions. No, because, I mean, most, some of the most advanced softwares tend to have serious bugs. <laughs> They're there to help us, not to think for us. Have it as a supportive tool, but not as a final decision. It could be better in a lot of things, because there's a, there's a lot of jobs that people really don't like to do. I don't know what people will do with their free time. <laughs> I think the world would be a better place uh, with automation as long as it's controlled in some way. Only if the rest of the infrastructure sort of supports that. It depends on how we structure our entire economy. We want to live in a society where tons of people are, are unemployed and have no source of income. Human beings need to be provided with health care and shelter and food and like other basic human rights. I feel like that would be babysitting because you don't know what kids will do. Chefs, <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Teachers maybe for, for, for children in school. Things like care, caretaking or social services. Any job that relates with um, human relationships such as teacher, consulting and even uh, coaching when it comes to sports and um, education. I would say no because I don't consider them like beings with emotions and needs. They should have rights, but they are not going to be similar li rights like human rights. They should be rights related to the nature of maybe machines. That is a crazy question. <laughs> Has anyone said yes to that? If it's a robot and if it's like doing and moving by their own, like you see in the movies, maybe they should have rights. If they do start to develop consciousness and like what we can define as sentience, then I think that should be protected like, well, like a person. We'll see what the robots act like. 